Namaste, everybody. Morning. How are you? Hope everything's good. Adi So here we are in Almonte, Kazakhstan. And this is our friend. We've been coming here for four years, and every time we come, he meets us down at the bottom, and he likes to go with us. You know, spirit, soul, and a dog body. See, always remember, we're spirit souls, and we may have a dog body, we may have a human body, we may have a tree body, but still we're the same person. So, because this little guy has been hearing the chanting a lot for four years, and he's eaten some prasadam, food offered to the Lord, spiritually purifying. Therefore, he'll be a human in his next life. He'll get that body or who knows, maybe something superior to that. So anyway, here we are waiting for one of our friends to come and we'll continue on. As you can see, it's snowing, it's snowing a lot. So we're taking a group of people that's been coming to our Bhakti Yoga course, and we're giving them a trip in the mountains today. We're gonna go somewhere up here nice, sit down under some trees, have some kirtan, and do some Hatha Yoga type exercises, stretching. And of course, we might speak a little bit on the Bhakti Yoga philosophy, give everybody a chance to get out in nature and enjoy the beautiful snowy mountains. destination as you've probably seen we've been doing some hatha yoga we did garanga breathing meditation started off with our kirtan and now we're having lunch everybody's eating some nice prasadam that's been prepared prasadam by the way means mercy so what it actually means in connection with food is the food is offered to the supreme lord first before we eat it and therefore, he accepts it, vegetarian food stuff, of course, offer everything to the Lord first with as much love and devotion as we have. And he says he will accept it. When he accepts it, he removes all karma that may be involved in that food. And also, he spiritualizes the food. That food now has complete spiritual potency. So by eating this food or prasadam, one makes spiritual progress. He gets spiritually benefited. So all food is karmically contaminated unless it's offered to the Supreme Lord. Whether it's vegetarian, vegan, doesn't matter. And of course, he says you cannot offer him meat, fish, or eggs. So anyway, that's part of our bhakti yoga process. That's what we're doing now. Everybody's having a nice lunch. 
here in a beautiful sunny day. Mountains behind are amazing. Golden Eagle just flew past. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing. Kazakhstan Mountains, Tingxing Mountains. Namaste, Heidi Bo. So we came as far as we're coming. It's way up here. <laughs> it was a lot of effort, but once you've done it, it's worth it. That's the way it is. Everything good takes a lot of effort. But once you've done it, you feel good for how doing it. So the point I was going to make is a Happy Man video premiere. I think it's launching today or tomorrow. And it's quite a long one for Happy Man videos. But the point I'm going to make is, in that video, there's some shots of me skiing in some trees. And you have to go between the trees, of course. And some people say, oh, tree skiing is very dangerous, or I can't ski in the trees, and so on. But here's the point. When you're skiing in the trees, you look at the spaces. You don't look at the trees. You look at the spaces. You go where you look. And race car driving, they say, there's a saying, the car goes where you look. So that's the idea. If we look at spiritual life, if we look at the Supreme Lord, if we look at following this process of bhakti yoga and the guidance of our spiritual master, if we look at that as the goal, that's where we're going to go. But if you start looking at the trees when you're skiing, you're going to hit a tree. A friend of mine did exactly that. I was behind him and he started looking at this big pine tree and he hit the tree. <laughs> and that's how it is. So we, in our spiritual journey, must look at the goal and not off to the side. Oh, look at that. Oh, look over here, because you're going to go there. Oh, I'm just going to look here a little bit. You go there. You see, this is, this is very, very practical stuff. You know, it's, spiritual life is very practical. It's not some cosmic thing where you get some divine visions from some astral dimension or some cosmic arena or mystic somebody. No, it's very practical stuff. So again, you look at the spaces, you go to the spaces. You look at the trees, you go to the trees. You look at spiritual life, the goal, developing love for God, serving God, you go there. You start looking at every other tree that's around. Oh, that looks good. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look over here. And or it could be not even attractive trees. It could be, you know, a very unattractive tree. Oh, look how bad that is. Look at, you know, you're looking all around and you lose sight of the gold and that's where you go. So we got to be careful, like I was saying just a moment ago in the mountains. Safety is number one. So in spiritual life, you got to be careful. The big enemy in, in life is lust. So if you follow the bhakti yoga process, it's a whole science of how to diminish and minimize and ultimately conquer lust and increase love for the Lord and for all living entities. All right. Thank you very much. Namaste. We're now going to go down, taking our time and being careful. 
Very bold. Rajashri Krishna Chaitanya Abu Nityananda Shri Adaita Garadha Shri Vasadi Govata Vrinda Rajashri Krishna Chaitanya Rabu Nityananda Shri Adaita Garadha Shri Vasadi Govata Vrinda Rajashri Krishna Chaitanya Rabu Shri Krishna Chitanya Prabhu Nechananda Shri Adhita Garada Vachari Gurbhakta Vrinda Shri Krishna Chitanya Just finishing our hike for the day. It's been amazing. We didn't actually turn out to go where we thought we were going to go, but that's the way it is in life sometimes. We think we got to go, we're going to reach it, but we don't. And so when we adjust to the situation as it arises, then it still can come out good in the end. So that's the, uh, let's say, a secret in life. Stay pliable, stay adjustable. See, and when things need to be changed, change them. See, that's the, the secret for spiritual life. You know, it's time to change things, change it. Don't get stuck, don't get attached to what it's always been like this or I want it to be like that. No, just be pliable, be flexible. You know, like a pawn on a chessboard. When it's time for the chess master to move the pawn, it's best if it's moved, see? There's a high intelligence here that sometimes moves us one way or another way. But if that pawn is glued to the chessboard, he can be moved and therefore loses the game. So, when the supreme chess player, our Heavenly Father, the Supreme Lord, sees it's time to move us here, to move us there, arranges certain situations, but we're stuck, we won't change, we won't move, we won't do it, we lose. You see, it's all available, we lose. So just some things to keep in mind. So like I say, we had a goal in mind, we thought we were gonna reach a certain point, didn't even come close. We had a completely different direction, everything was different than we thought it was gonna be in the beginning, and it turned out great. You know, we had a fantastic day. And now we're going down and have a, Bhakti Yoga program tonight, talk about reincarnation and karma, you know, and just continue on with a wonderful day. So thank you very much for tuning in to Happy Man. We appreciate your viewership very much. Namaste, Hari Bol. All right, thank you very much, Sergei. Sorry, thank you very much for the beautiful music. I like to sit in the room on this. And, well, thank you guys for being here after all these nights. 